yesterday and today and the last night. It was a punishment of mental projections. I saw my limbs severed, my tongue, my dick, my eyes removed. I was, saw myself killed, my hands, my fingers, my fingernails, and then reattached. Elena was punished physically. She was dragged into the city headquarters and she was beaten. And one of her teeth was removed. They also said they will remove one of my teeth. I want you know, this teeth to be removed because it can it must be removed anyway. But uh, she was missing two teeth and after removing a third of of her teeth she was fixed. They put all their teeth back and now She's having all her teeth in her mouth, but unfortunately I'm lacking four to five teeth because this can must be removed. <laughs> and this is a So in the end I will end up with A9 tooth. Yes. But I have survived this ordeal. Last night I could not hold myself. I was one inch from renouncing the Romanian citizenship. And so, in a moment of desperation, knowing that I will be tortured today, I, because in Romania physical punishment and physical correction are still made available, they have a special methods with sacks of sand, which they beat you until you die, until you spit blood, because they do not wish uh, any signs of trauma from the body, so you, you cannot feel a complaint at the police against them. But anyway, I have met, uh, and uh, last night I have to say this, I have passed my divine, I have renounced my divine my mandate and I have passed it to my sister Artemis. Of course, I have sent the SMS message to several girls so no one will realize who my real sister Artemis is because I do not want them to know this until she is ready to reveal herself. But you know I am 35 years old now. The King Henry VIII died at 35. I have some memory problems, some health problems and, and someone in the 20s must lead Atlantis because this mission of leading Atlantis is a very difficult one and someone must be very young and with a lot of energy to do it. I will concentrate on my life now. I do not have any opinion on the Armand Secret Services. I know who they are and how the methods are. But I have to say this. The Romanian Secret Services were deprofessionalized and killed and destroyed because the Western powers feared our military might and our secret services might and they wish to destroy us. There was a secret war for the destruction of Romania. The billionaires in America, the Illuminati, the Templars wanted to do this. And so the brotherhood of human life, which now lies on the apexes of the Carpathian Mountains, opposed them. And they are led by an organization called the Octagon or the military unit 883. They are the true council of Atlantis, the one who promoted me as their leader. Many people say, well, if you were promoted by an invisible council, you might be as well promoted by God himself. But we are all gods, sort of. I am a god on earth. This is not uh, against uh, the true god. This is not... Uh, anti-religion or something like this. This is a reality. Any man, any woman, any child can get to Godhood. This is what Jesus Christ did. So, uh, uh, this is not a blasphemy. I apologize for religious people if it, if it is judged as a blasphemy. So, there is also the military unit 0753, the military unit 0883, the military unit 0962, the military unit 0215, the DIA, which support me. I have a lot of friends in Romania. And the Brotherhood of Human Life, also called the Great White Brotherhood, supports me. And I thank Diana and all the rest. These are people, the crème de la crème. The 962 or 215 or 2 and a quarter are the true 
special services of Romy. I uh, do not wish to say more that I have many contacts with them and they are professionals, they are true spies. On the contrary, Serie A and the public secret service, how can be a secret service public and public it is secret? It is a contradiction in terms, public and secret at the same time. They are only the facade of Romania. They were deprofessionalized. The SSSS, the security service, the security and safety of state service in which my mother worked and the other, my father worked for the top secret service in the world. They were above CIA, above KGB, above Mossad. Mossad was close. And above the northern secret services and the MI5 and MI6. Now they are non-existent. These people cannot call themselves spies. They must be ashamed. Be ashamed! Be ashamed all your life for daring to call yourselves spies. Are you the ones in which we must entrust our safety? When you look like thugs, some of you, not all of you, the people who I met the other day, three or four people they have some shirts say, hello, I am a virus, because I call them inactive regional viruses and I apologize to all secret services, they are not that bad. And one of them I recognized, it was a man who served me at the Peninsula Festival, he is the right hand of um, Eva or Nirjam or Gautanga Nirjam or my daughter, my creator, he is also my son. Hello my son, I haven't seen you in four million years, how are you, how are things in China, I understand that you are now the new Jade Emperor. China, congratulations. You are the one who killed me, of course, but I do not have the grudge against you. And so, I love you all. I know that I favored Nijnamor over you, and I'm very sorry. For, please forgive me. I understand you, and I fully support you, and I fully support your sister, and Neotanganish, or Eva. But I do not support your quest of raising 170,000 immortals against me. If you come against me, I will destroy. And now, um, let me tell you, my friends, I'm a common citizen of Romania. I cannot have by law any opinion as long as I was in command of the secret service in the army, but now I can have some personal opinion. And uh, my personal opinion is that the military unit 753. 215, 962 and 883 are professional units. They serve the octagon, they serve the white race, they serve the purity of the white race, like the Great Council of Atlantis does. This doesn't mean the elimination of all other races and species, but simply the promoting of Atlantis into the galaxy and the universe. And so, my dear friends, we are not Ka Klux Klan. <laughs> Not by a long shot. Um, you know, I saw yesterday the worst in spying. Those people, 20 years old, go, uh, girls and boys from anti terrorist units of the police, from Serie, from CIA, they were following me on the street and they didn't take any precautions. I simply apply some just tricks because if you know you, if you look at the legs of someone who's moving and something and he's moving like that, then you know he's a spy. If he's moving like that, then he's a normal guy, and or if he looks suspicious, and you can look behind without seeing the other guy that you're looking at him simply by trying to fix your sandals or your shoes by stopping and looking at some posts, uh, you know, on the street. There were many circular unit cylinders on the streets and I simply encircled them, you know. I stayed, I watched the, the whole what is it, and, and I slowly encircled them until the other guy who followed me were right in front of my nose. Then I j was just smiling at them and passed through them and they would have to replace them with other guys. And the final guy was one who followed me because I tried to escape them at a bar at the Central Station. And uh, I drank some red uh, or uh, revolution beer. I know I, I, I'm not a communist and I'm not a spy, I'm a politician. And uh, we were alone at the third or fourth floor because the, the, the bar is at the last floor. 
and there were some automated stairs and the poor man was just three or five steps behind me and when there was no one here and I stopped at the penultimate level and I waited for him there was some big uh, pose with some nice girls like this and I was waiting to be strangled and I just wait, uh, look at them and imagine making sex with, love with them and the poor guy just stopped uh, behind me and I told him and he, he started looking around saying oh what is this and then I bumped into him and he was very frightened I said oh please excuse me and I went on to the bar and he didn't dare to follow me there and then I uh, waited about an hour, an hour and a half and I said and now there was no one there all the spies, all the secret services, the 19 secret services of Romania uh, seized the uh, control of me because you know I wrote my, to my friend in the secret service in the true secret services special special angels or special operatives and 215 in 2 quarter <laughs> hmm. I remember you know I met with Captain Angela Birish 15 years ago and I said well let's meet at two and a half and she said well I prefer to meet at two and a quarter <laughs> and I said well if you are from two and a quarter I wonder if I will end up at 220 you know 220 <laughs> and she said no no be and she's a good girl and I love her she later was promoted to major and to colonel thanks to yours truly <laughs> I had a slight intervention, but she also had her own spying merits. So this is why all, why all these guys were forming with all these grants trained in the secret service like CIA and FBI and NSA. All the worst are secret service are the worst of all. I believe also the Arabs and the Chinese are better have better secrets and they say oh but it is because you're a totalitarian state we are not a totalitarian there is democracy i was on the yesterday now after is done you will say oh but you're not elected oh, we are elected by people who elected us <laughs> you know in america you have uh, the illuminati now there is here there is the brotherhood of human life or the great white brotherhood who elects our leaders and so many will say, oh, you have a paramilitary organization outside, outside the state of law. But what is the state of law? If the Americans are so eager to be equal with us, why do they wish to control us like a colony? If I am equal with all, why these spies do not like four or five teeth and do not have the, a broken arm and a broken leg like I do? Or uh, some two vertebrate party flag, if we are all equal, this is idea of equality, every man is different, every woman, every child, you know, life is life, <laughs> life is life, <laughs> uh, so there is no equality in nature, we all do what we can do. This does not mean that I am some sort of emperor or tsar, although I retain my title as a tsar of Russia because I wish to work and help them because I do not wish them to invade Europe and America, for instance. <laughs> uh, but I also wish to help them. Goodbye. Cheers.